Hi, I'm Teresa Vares Diaz with MrsDiazTalks.com. And today we are on confession number three in our confession series. Um, I had been really concerned for the past few weeks what I was going to be able to share with you guys. I mean, there's so much to share, but I wasn't feeling it. Um, you know, I was coming down from that mountaintop experience. And, you know, if you're familiar with that, that's basically, you know, when you're feeling um, so satisfied with the goals that you've achieved and, you know, the, whatever it is that you have um, found success in. And then, you know, you start coming down. And I think as humans, we, we tend to just really, really dislike that part of life where you're coming down. I happen to have like this double whammy just hit me because, you know, I was exhausted from the trip. Um, I, I had to come back and hit the ground running with, of course, planning and, you know, and teaching and grading and all that. Um, but not only that, I, um, I'm also taking a literature class, which I'm totally in love with. And, you know, I've shared some of that stuff on social media, but, um, I, I had that. And then thanks to our wonderful school calendar, I actually had this event where I had to be up, you know, super, you know, um, late, you know, like in the morning, you know, it's like, I don't know, it's just like too late for me because my body, you know, it's just like, you know, I don't do, um, all nighters anymore, but anyway, so we were up super late and all of that just kind of piled on and it was just kind of like this perfect storm. And then I just started feeling out of it. I just started feeling out of whack, uh, out of my regular, uh, routine. And as I'm, you know, trying to get back and trying to find spaces of rest. I'm trying to, you know, I just start questioning, you know, like, um, why do I feel this way? Um, why don't I have my, you know, my normal energy, what's going on? Um, and I know depression is, um, a clinical term. I, you know, don't, but I just felt that I was like slipping into, you know, um, a level of depression that I was very scared, you know? And so, and whenever I feel that way, I, you know, I felt like this before. It's not the first time. Um, this time it was just like so marked because, you know, so many activities back to back, but, you know, I always try to tell, um, especially my spouse and let him know, you know what, I'm, I'm feeling off. I'm feeling off. I want you to know, because if you see anything different, you know, I want you to know how I'm feeling. So that's very important. It's one of the recommendations I have for you. If you're feeling like that, find somebody that you can let them know how you're feeling. Um, but, you know, I'm going through this and I took a moment to kind of, uh, I mean, I didn't leave my, my morning routine, my miracle mornings, which I highly recommend because I think that that was like key into getting back into the rhythm. Uh, but also, you know, I asked around, I say, you know, hey guys, you know what I asked uh, my kids, hey, you know, um, what do you think about this? You know, when you're going down the valley, you know, when you're in the valley, what, what do you think we should do? And, you know, it was something so wise that my son shared with me. One of my sons, he's like, you know, you know what, mom, you know, I can't tell you, you know, that's your own personal experience. You have to decide what you're going to do and how you're going to allow yourself to feel during, you know, that, that Valley experience. And that was, that was, you know, something that I needed to hear and I totally appreciate it. So thank you so much, um, my son. And, um, and I'm, I'm sharing it with you because I think that a lot of times we want to have like these formulas, you know, like, good, this is the key to do this, this and that, you know, and there isn't a key, there isn't, um, you know, a one size fits all. We all have to, um, really just figure it out for ourselves. And as I was figuring out, I realized, you know, I needed to talk to people. I needed to talk about what I was feeling. So if that helps you, you know, I highly recommend it. I needed to continue writing. And I realized that that was just um, part of this process and helping me to be present in the process that, yes, it wasn't something I enjoyed. I didn't like feeling, you know, so out of whack. I didn't like feeling that I was, you know, at a loss for energy and um, and that my emotions were just not um, what I what I normally um, have them be, you know, as, you know, somebody who's normally a high energy person. But, um, what I can tell you is that during that process, I am so thankful for the support that I get, um, from my family, from my spouse and, um, who's just walking in right now, if you heard the door, but I, so I wanted to share this because a lot of times we, we, um, we hear all the good stuff that happens, you know, uh, when, when you're on social media, you hear about all the great experiences you have, the traveling, the this, the that, the celebrations, and that's all good. I think we need, oh my goodness, you know, it's, 
we all love to share good things. Um, but this is my, you know, opportunity to share with you when, you know, things are not that great. But here's for wishing you a quick recovery from your valley and that you will be able to continue, you know, reaching those, um, you know, those mountaintop experiences where you're satisfied with what you do. And on the way down, you know, just remember that you have to enjoy, enjoy the ride. And, you know, while you're in the valley, there's so much to learn. And we'll be talking about that next week. Uh, I'm looking forward to continue sharing the um, the Unfamous series. We have a couple of people lined up and i um, excited to share that with you. Also, we always want to remind you that you elevate your frequency by, you know, loving yourself, taking care of yourself. You know, um, this self-care is not you know, it's not something that's been, um, I mean, that that's only been around recently. It's something that as human beings, we, we need to continually, um, you know, bring back because we need it. So stop, give yourself some love, some kindness that's going to go a long way. And so when you're coming out of the Valley, you know, you're going to, um, hopefully uh, do that at a faster pace, you know, even though sometimes we have to stay there longer, but we're praying that, you will come out um, faster, you know, um, than you need to stay there. But thank you so much for your attention. As always, we love sharing and our hope is to inspire. So remember to elevate your frequency and live. Blessings and see you next week. Bye-bye.